remaining in the first half. Second down and seven. Going for the touchdown. Oh! Holds. That's a nice play out of by bounds. Rookie. I don't care if it's Sutton, out of bounds. Sutton was with him, but Bowles shows some of the skills yes. that are going to make him a premier At receiver. At the end of that play, he understood. 235! Collins across the middle deep. Ooh. Nice catch. Aaron Bowles, number one draft pick with the touchdown. That's a good concentration by Eric Bowles. But He's kind of uh, people, you lose them. He absorbs people. That, that was a heck of a catch go by Moles. Uh, Mike Rockwood, the free agent who's only played four years of college. Yeah. Three-yard line. Van Pelt may be changing the play as he puts Moles in motion, and now he's definitely changing something. He's got to hurry. He's got three seconds left on the play clock. One second. Just barely gets it off. Looking for Moles. Nice catch, Eric go. Moles. Beautiful catch there right in go. front of Tyrone Poole. The Bills... route. First and ten for the Bills at the 35-yard line. Play action fake. Van Pelt got a man wide open. It is complete to Eric Moulds, and he is down at the 43-yard line. The Bills' first-round draft pick, Eric Moulds. We talked earlier about that ESPN draft day criticism, and Moulds told us he was bothered by the draft day criticism. It was upsetting to me because I, I, you know, I made a mistake in all the pieces. I was, you know, things you're doing practical jokes and and they took it kind of overboard. I mean, even though you had players to get arrested and, and had off field problems and stuff like that, and it made it seem like that I had killed somebody and I, that the Bills were giving me a second chance and stuff like that. And it kind of upset me because my family was there watching and and you know they know how what type of person I am and I'm I'm really emotional about certain things and so it kind of hurt me a little bit. But I, you know, I just I just try to go out and prove those people wrong. Miami. Bills get the ball after the takeaway. First and ten. Ball at their own 30-yard line. Todd Collins is the new Buffalo quarterback. Fires over the middle. Complete to Eric Moulds. Out to midfield and dropped by Lamar Latham. Found themselves inside their own ten. Second down and short. Blitz coming. They hand it off to Eric Moulds. And he shakes the tackle of Jesse Campbell. He's got a first down plus. Number one draft pick out of Mississippi State. What Moulds can provide is not only runs like this, but some something after the catch, when he catches the ball. Remember Marv Levy was saying to us uh, this summer that Moulds is the best kick returner he has ever seen. 15 yards away from a field goal attempt. Collins, man open. Catch made to the 20-yard line. Eric Moulds, the rookie, has him in field goal range. Nice inside move by Moulds. It looks like the linebacker is supposed to be up there to help on the inside coverage, but he gets right inside Buchanan. That may be... And Nick Lowry is going to kick off. This one is high, but will be taken about the seven-yard line. Could be a good return for Buffalo. Now across the 20, 25, 30. Breaks clean and then is tripped up as Eric Moles is brought down at about the 40-yard line by Fred Baxter. A 33-yard kickoff return. Not bad on third down conversion. Three for seven. A lot of time to throw. We need ten yards. The drill and the pass is caught. And a catch by Eric Moles in a crowd. And the Bills will have a first down at the 16 of the Redskins. Now you talk about Jim Kelly. and they're Get to be in the arrow, 4.1 or 4.2 seconds. So the cover team can get down. This would take him to the nine-yard line by Eric Moe. Moe's out to the 25, up the sideline. This is a good return across the 40 to the 43-yard line. And right, it was Gary Anderson, the kicker, who knocked below. 11 minutes and five seconds, time remaining in the ball game. Don Silvestri is going to kick it away for the Jets with Eric Moe and Russell Copeland, the return man for Buffalo. And it is taken to the three-yard line by Eric Moe. Moe's to the 20. He has a head of steam up. He's to the 50-yard line. He could bust it all the way, and he's going to. Oh! No flags. That's a touchdown. What a job. That's pure speed, Charlie. 17 seconds. The scoreboard changes again. Nothing fancy. What Ken Rose, that special teams coach, saw was Eric Moles just take this thing straight up the field. I mean, where are the Jets? He could fly again. Much, much less where the Bills. There weren't that many Bills around the guy. He just went straight up the field and got his six points. And for the rookie, the number one draft choice, out of Mississippi State, that is his first 
NFL touchdown. Yeah, he's keeping that ball. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, Steve. The shaky start. Three wide receivers, first play. And it goes to one of the three, Eric Moles, who puts the speed on. Moles down the sideline. And he's pushed out of bounds inside the 15. Ray McElroy saving the touchdowns in there. This is, just a, this is not a screen. It's just a quick throw to the outside, leaving Moles 101 on the outside in his pure speed. This is their number one draft pick. He really hasn't mastered this offense the way they want him to. But if they can get him plays like that, that's how they'll feed him into the offense. The Seahawks have capitalized on their scoring opportunities. Kelly rolls away. Downfield pass is complete. Oh, a nice jump set move by Eric Moles. Moles will pick up the first down. They're going to blow the play dead at about the 44, maybe the... He goes deep as his man. He's got a touchdown, Buffalo. It's Eric Moles. That's what he's doing. He's heading down the field. He's splitting the zone. You got Corey Harris, and he had Darrell Williams, and he threw that ball in the perfect spot. Remember the, the number thing? Kelly throws. It's caught in the... Been the miracle team of 1996. Molds at the one. Has a seam. to midfield in the Jacksonville territory. Huge return for Mould. Barlow knocked him out of bounds. Let's go to Mark Malone. Thanks, Mike. A great... Four minutes to go. Holbert going to throw again. This time he connects with Mould, and Mould is still on his feet. Finally brought down at the 43-yard line. We saw them work on the reverse in practice some this week, and they unleash it for a big game. The Minnesota defense is over pursuing, and Dixon Edwards is right there. He's supposed to watch out on that backside, make sure that reverse doesn't come. He's been so excited about the success that he's had on stuffing the running game from the backside that he forgot, oops, they might run a reverse. Dan Henning made it. ...by O'Donnell, but also the pass interference setting up that field goal. Here's the touchback specialist. John Hall, and uh, this time comes up a bit short. Eric Moles allowed for the turn and has the running room. Hall gets the wraps around him and brings him down. John Hall is 6 3. Collins has to step up. Fires complete. Eric Moles. Wow. Moles sees it bounce to 11. Touches it, stays inside the chart to the 20. Look at that speed. Philip Harding, the kicker, and Hansen chasing him and getting him. Hansen stops him after a 53 yard return. And Collins, with good protection, finds. The open man, Eric Moles at the 40, breaking tackles and Moles to the 45-yard line of the Colts in a first down. And that's what they wanted him to be, a good start. Well, he found a beautiful hole in the zone there. He's been a little bit overweight this year. Tipped. Van Pelt had attempted only uh, 30 career passes coming into this appearance. Stays in the pocket for the end zone. Caught. Eric Moles held out of the end zone. Not only a good play call, but excellent execution all the way around. Quarterback, offensive line, wide receiver. That's efficiency. It's first down from the 44-yard line. Van Pelt on target, molds to the 25 of the Broncos. A, a, a bride's wedding plan. Something old in Thomas, something new in Smith and Molds. Now if they could get a little blue, the blue of the Buffalo jersey, that one covered 19. Left tackle. We saw John limp off earlier in the game. He was back in, but he is back out. Here we go with the end around. Eric Molds cuts back upfield. He's got a first down, and now he's down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 23. Happens here. Watch all of these guys here on the, on the defense, and watch where they go. They're all going to come this way. 
Here comes a reverse. Here comes the defense. They're all coming to their left. And when Moles gets to the outside, there only is a corner sitting out on the outside. And he Huge game, to say the least, for the Jacksonville Jaguars. It is going to be Moles from the nine. And a good move up the middle. Only Hollis. He slows him down, and they finally get to Moles from behind, but not before he takes it all the way to the 49 of the Jaguars. And here come the Jaguars. Van Pelt into the corner. He's got it. The grab by Eric Moles. And I, he knew the defensive back, Dion Figures, was not looking back. Boom. What a grab by Eric Moles. What a throw by Alex Van Pelt. He has been a class act. From the five, it is going to be Eric Moles. Can he set him up in good field position? Yes. Gets a wall. Great return across the 45, all the way to Jacksonville territory. Moles, this is, you know, you don't see him return him well often, but he does this one. He waits for the wall and watch this break inside and then back to his right to the outside. Now he's going to keep this ball, and, and if he can break one more tackle, he feels he's got a chance once he gets to the kicker. That didn't happen. 400. He had better than 220 at the break. Van Pelt on first down, and he's got molds again. This is the ball game, fourth and ten. They're one of two on fourth down tries today. Deep drop by Van Pelt. He's got molds, and he's got a first down. Incredible. His hand for a big, crucial first down. I'll tell you, this was not only a good pass, but it was an excellent route by... ...down at three, a long three for Buffalo. Johnson again, under pressure for Moles, and that's a first down. Pass by Rob Johnson, and really a great reception by Eric Moles, who had already dropped three passes today. We see Rod Smith all of Rod Smith may actually Williams remains in the game at wide receiver at the bottom of your screen on second down Bowles has it almost lost it in midstream and I think may have lost it again fumbling forward but getting on top of it Johnson rolling to throw fires complete for the touchdown to Eric Moles but there are flags down in the end zone Let's see if the touchdown sticks. For the touchdown. Defense. 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 Penalties declined. declined. Touchdown. Touchdown. So you heard Jerry Mark Bright's call. Count the touchdown. Rob Johnson rolls to his right. And here it is again, Mark. He really got out of the pocket in a hurry. He came out. Well, he, it was a roll all the way to begin with. He gets outside. Eric Moles is covered from the inside. You cannot see it on your screen. And does a good job of pivoting away. As far as in as an extra cornerback, it'll be third down and 13 following the loss. Out of the shotgun, Rob Johnson has time, and the pass is caught downfield by Eric Moles, and Moles breaks a tackle and gets inside the 10-yard line. And that was just a case, Dick, of, it was a pick. It was right over here to the left side. See, right there, he tried to come inside, they were going to run the pick, then he fell down off at pounds, and he's off to the races because they were locked in man. They were locked in man coverage. And it was yeah. Stanley Richard who missed the tackle in a 41, make it a 52-yard gain on the play. And finally, third down and 12. Johnson underneath Mold with the catch, and he gets the first down for the Bills. Flutie in trouble. Flutie still on his feet. Thrown on the run, and he completes it at the five. Mo Rumors now in motion. Johnson wants to throw it. On the rollout, Johnson looking. Enzo brought in. Touchdown, Eric Moles. It's Rob Johnson when he rolls. Good fake to running back Antoine Smith. He gets a cut block on the defender, but Rob Johnson's going to roll out by this time. Throws the ball where only the wide receiver can get it. Eric Moulds over the top of the defender, Terrell Buckley. It's concentration by the defender. He should stay on his man when the quarterback breaks. Gain of 10 on the play from Johnson to Johnson. And now Rob Johnson airing it out. Eric Moulds. And he made the catch. And Andre Reed and Johnson not having the great chemistry because Reed missed a lot of training camp. Well, that was the, to the benefit of Eric Moulds. Beautiful catch, beautiful concentration by Eric Moulds on that play. Andre Reed out of this one with a separated shoulder. 
And this will be Johnson to throw on first down. He's going deep. He's got his man. And this is a reception from Eric Moles. And the Bills go for it early. Take them downtown. Watch the protection. Not much of a play action, but a decent pickup there by Antoine Smith. And the ball is right on the money. Rob Johnson can let it fly. He just needs experience. But that's a strong message from Joe Pendry, the offensive coordinator. Defense, 11, 56, 55, and counting. Second down, eight to go for Buffalo. Johnson will throw. He's looking downfield. He's got a wide open Eric Mould. And this is complete down to the 32-yard line. Time right outside here. Mould working up the field. And Langham slips. Langham just has a bad down, along with the other... Watch Doug Flutie, number seven. This is what he does so well. Makes a decision, gets the ball ready, loads it up, and throws it with velocity into Eric Modes for the touchdown. And then the penalty comes when Moles slams the ball down right here. It's not that he spikes it, but he does it by the player, Kevin Hardy. It's great. He can just make all the plays. He's proven it over the years. He's got one to make here on 35. Time, throw, far side, complete, first down. Foot, foot, football field a lot and this time he waits in the pocket buys himself some extra time and finds Eric Moulds out to the sideline for the to do it second and six time down the side Flutie with time, throws complete, and diving for the first down, Eric Moulds. There's the last play, Carolina had only 10 players on the field, that's why they used the timeout. Flutie straight back, and loads for Moulds, and he got it. What a catch at the 20, he beat Doug Evans, 31 yards, what? Jam on him, that's his strength. So Moles is running basically uncontested. Terrific job of keeping your feet in and focusing on the ball. Not Looks a bad up. throw, huh? No, not a bad throw at all. <laughs> Gets both feet down. <laughs> Flutie so far. Three out of three, 50 yards. He's rushed for another 10. Over the middle, behind. Caught by Moles. Touchdown. Since he broke it. But watch this throw. If Doug Evans has two hands, he makes this interception. It bounces off his chest. But great concentration by Eric Moles to get the touchdown. Moles! You won't catch him. Eric Moles, touchdown. 82 yards. In a corner pattern. He's on top of Evans again. Evans can't jam him. Now all he can do is try and run with him. Watch the ball come in. Just over the top, and he's not going to get caught. You know, we asked Floaty about Doug Evans and that broken hand. He said, we're going there. There's no reason for us not going. If you look at Moles, he goes inside Doug Evans on his left side. <laughs> Third down and one. Floaty out of the pocket, being chased and throws a pass, which is caught at the 39-yard line by Eric Moles. Went to him five times last week. A little shove right there. He's coming back. The ball's going to be thrown low. The key to a low throw like that is keep your elbows in, as you saw Eric Moles do right. Forward motion. Flutie on first and ten. Good blocking by Hicks. Downfield is caught a receiver. Touchdown, Moles. Sam gets it down the side. He stops. No reason to stop. He's got help deep. But misplayed by Brock Marion and Eric Moles, reminiscent of just a week ago. Same kind of play. Gets him right back in this one. Crowd noise making it tough. He's awful close to the center. Going down the sideline. Moles open, complete, and out of bounds inside the 25 yard line. First down. Vincent Lyman to hear him calling those signals. And Eric Moles just a little hesitation. 
really good move by him. Just that slight hesitation made Otis Smith slow down and created that separation. And look at Doug Flutie, the perfect pass to him. For the Bills, first down from the Jet 36. Quick drop by Flutie, lofts it for Moles, and complete at the Jet 40-yard line. Otis Smith, watch, number 45, never turns and sees the ball. Eric Moles makes the adjustment, and that's some catch. Turn it all the way around and making the catch. Surrounding, don't get out of your lanes. Keep him in the pocket. Herman Thomas in the backfield on third and five. Flutie throws, complete to Moulds, first down, inside the 35. Excellent job. Watch him go down the field, sell it deep. I'm going deep. Gets those hands up. I'm going short. Good timing between Doug Flutie and Eric Moulds. Look at Ed Paul. You can see it move to the inside of the shotgun, third down and five from the 36. Over the middle, Moulds with the catch at the 45-yard line and a first down. Flutie play action sets up. Looking deep, down the sideline, Mold touchdown! What a strike, but a flag on the play in the backfield. As it comes out, working against Ellis Johnson, gets the hand on the outside of the right shoulder, and the flag came in. That ball went right into the windy spot in the stadium, and... Okay. Flutie, Molds at the 40, cuts it back, and Molds. Third down and eight from the 32. Flutie again underneath Moles. Wrapped up. See Eric Moles working the slot. This is the kind of set that Doug Flutie loves to work out. Spread the whole field. Let me put get in the shotgun and just. Flutie. Another strike to Moles at the 11. Finds Eric Moles, big game. He's got terrific speed, and he breaks the tackle and moves it out to the 49-yard line of New England. Ty Law. You have to show, are you blitzing, are you not blitzing? And you've got a big matchup right there, and you've got Wiggum trying to cover Eric Moles out of the slot with that much space and room, but no score. Five receivers on third and ten. Flutie has a tip and caught. And that might be enough to move the chain again. Eric Moulds was in an offense in San Francisco with Rice and whatnot where the emphasis was on short passes, then let your guys do their thing after the catch. And there's a great example of a couple of catches Eric Moulds made. Works threatened, here they come. Judy backs out, lets it go across the middle. Moulds has it! They went for the interception, didn't get it. It's a foot race. Steve Israel can't get him. Touchdown, Buffalo. 84. Receiver. He's working here against Ty Law. Remember, he's leading the NFL in interceptions with seven. He sees it's coming. He takes a chance in the shot around the outside. When he takes his shot around the outside and the safety misses high, Eric Moles is not going to be caught by Steve Israel from the backside. Number one draft pick from Mississippi State three years ago and a bit of a disappointment. But he has come on in 1998. Down and nine out of the shotgun, Flutie. Across the middle, Eric Moulds inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Handed him and taking him 84 yards. And here's another case of Doug Flutie getting the ball real quick. Four-yard line, out of the eye formation. Play action on first down for Flutie, and he's going for the home run. Moulds is open! Got it! Inside the 10! At the beginning of a game, you sometimes want to hit the team right in the mouth. And the Buffalo Bills, knowing that the Cincinnati Bengals have struggled this season, would love to put them away early. Send Eric Moulds right down the field. From the 30. Underneath. Moulds! And he breaks a tackle! He's got speed! Moulds at the 30-yard line! What an individual performance! Touchdown! 70 yards! Molds 
on a completely individual effort after he caught the ball. You see why he's going to be a great player in this football league. He's so big and so physical at the wide receiver position. He's six foot, 204 pounds, and he just shrugged off a couple of blockers. And then, after doing the physical part of it, he outran him with speed to the end zone for a huge play here in the first half. Broke tackles from Hawkins, Myers, and Sam Shade. Watch this. You see there as he outruns one, shrugs off Greg Myers there on the tackle. Now watch as the pursuit gets him. Artrell Hawkins trying to make perhaps a turnover, didn't go for the for the hard tackle. And Eric. Third down and nine from the 30. First down marker at the 21 and a half. Flutie under pressure. Lifts it into the end zone. Touchdown. He, it's almost like he shot put it that one into the end zone. Line of scrimmage is the 30-yard line exactly. The, the, and watch as he, they just forget about Eric Molds as they break up to cover Flutie when he took a huge body. Second and 20. Jonathan Linton now on the backfield for Buffalo. Flutie to throw. And it's Eric Molds. NFL and team defense to the number two ranking this year. Third and four. Flutie. Quick throw to Eric Molds as he's wrestled down by Charles Woodson. Division title entering action today at eight and five. And still thinking about putting some points on the board before halftime. Eric Molds the catch. Molds into Oakland territory. Receiver set. Thomas in the backfield. Flutie fires quickly to Molds. Third and five. Flutie working with four wide receivers. Throwing down the field, has his man complete. Eric Molds first down into Jet territory. Against the best wide receiver, the Buffalo Bills, and a good job by Eric Molds. He faked the quick slant. He froze Otis Smith just for a second, and Doug Flutie into the win. Well, there's no question about his arm strength to go for a first down. Flutie completes his pass to Moles. Moles has a first down, midfield, 45, down to about the 43-yard line. 25 yards for Moles, named this week to his first Pro Bowl, 24-yard line. Flutie down the middle, has Eric Moles, and he's got him inside the 45 and down. 42 or 41 yard line 35 yards on the play New York Jets here they come nobody in the middle it's picked up and Doug Flutie stands there anticipates the throw puts some air under the ball and Eric Molds does the right thing great year it's been for him he's excited the entire league third and 11 from the 34 Johnson looking down the field Molds wide open he has it Eric Molds touchdown Buffalo working against Fred Weary there who just falls down Eric Moulds realized that he just breaks out and catches the football Rob Johnson has always been able to throw the deep ball that is a play that could break the spirit of the Saints very quickly here they're in a line Lonnie Johnson in motion Rob Johnson plenty of time underneath Moulds breaks it outside look at the speed down the sideline Moulds dragged out of bounds at the 10 making the 12. He just decided that he could play the National Football League. He would, for, a, for a long part of his, early part of his career, he was just happy to be there. He was a first round pick. I think he was a little bit wide-eyed about the NFL. He came in and he was playing with Andre Reed. full throat as Flutie goes to the air going deep for Moles he's been their big play man all season long it's a tremendous the ball at the 42 yard line as Flutie puts it on his hip great protection finds Moles has him at the six yard line Moles gets free despite being double first and goal let's take another look at the Moles uh, catch right here you can see if Doug just lays it out there Moles can go and get it but he underthrows him and Instead of being a touchdown, the ball's on the five-yard line. Like a picket line. And caught at the first down marker, Eric Molds. Ball nicely to Eric Molds, and Molds makes a nice catch 
going below his knees and trying to stay on his feet and getting the only the second penalty of the game against Miami. Flutie finds Molds. Molds gets outside, covered by Thomas. At cornerbacks, and this ball kind of came out end over end a little bit, floating. Joe Cap special. Right, but that's exactly the type of matchup that they expected. When you put your receivers inside, you play against a team that plays a matchup zone. Get rid of the football. Here they come. And Flutie going deep, and it is caught inside the five yard line, and for the touchdown, Eric Molds. Absolutely, he saw the blitz coming. He, and he coverage on the play. Watch the guys coming off the side. There they are, unblocked. And this is what you want to do: just lay the ball out unless you're, and let your best athlete go and get it. Now Christie for the tie. Flutie for Moles, and Moles got free. He makes a juggling catch and gets taken down to the 36. He got inside Buckley. Flutie to Moles, and Moles has a first down at the 33 yards. That they don't move either Madison or Buckley inside over there. And in all of the football league. First and 10 Bills, they have it at the Washington 20. Got Reed in motion. Looking deep. It's caught by Eric Moulds, covered by Dwayne Washington, a big gainer. And this is a very good read by Doug Flute. He realizes bump and run, man-to-man -man coverage. Moulds got Washington beat by a step, and he lays the ball out there, does not drill the football. He does not have a strong arm, but here he, he need a touch. And hopefully we'll see him back. Flute, off of play action. Sideline throw. And the catch made by Moles. Spread the field for Flute. Here come the Colts. Flute scrambling. Avoiding the rush and throwing on the run. Moles came back for it. And a first down for Buffalo. Flutie making that happen. He coaches him up along with the coaching staff. You've got to have a guy like that beyond the receiver. On second and three. Working the other sideline. Eric Moll trying to break three of the, once again, five receivers. Flutie, quick throw underneath Eric Moll. He'll create after the catch. Moll cutting it back. Trying to get down the sideline. And he's finally brought down in Indianapolis territory. Eric Moulds. That's what we used to call a flu jockey. Flew right by him, right by his jockey. Right here, will catch the ball. Makes a great move there, but here, the quickness, the speed, making moves, getting positive yardage. That's what I like about Eric Moulds. Once he touches the football, he's going towards the goal line. Six. Clock ticking with 2.37 left. Flutie. Throwing the long ball, caught by Moulds. It'll look good on the stats. But won't... sidearm with this football throwing it around the defensive end Brandon White you see Moles working on Bobby Taylor right now little shake and bake right into the clearing boy flew and on the field a long time tonight from the 20-yard line first down Flutie 
deep, and it is pulled in by Moulds. See, and this is just two athletes fighting for the football. And watch right th there. He grabs his jersey, and you can take a look. That this is what the official is seeing because he's right there, right there in, in the foreground, and he. And he uh oh. And that is caught at the 29-yard line by Eric Moulds. Flutie, a little fade. Caught by Moulds. Touchdown. Got position on Buck. Where the defender never has a chance to make the play. The, the offender knows where it is. Seed 20 to 12. Here's Flutie. credit everybody is touching the football on this drive just locked up on Chad Scott who doesn't get much of a bump on molds molds able to get away from Scott he's the last couple of years and when he's healthy he's as good as there is first down and 10 across the 50 here's Flutie with a play fake Carlos Hammond's coming Flutie goes deep for molds Last year, he's got a reconstructed knee. He's making his comeback this year, and to be locked up one on one with a post pattern with no safety help whatsoever, I think you're putting Chad Scott in a position. Claudia Bluti, right side, wide open, Moles. Chad Scott somewhere there, expecting deep help. I would assist. Just a good work uh, between receiver and quarterback. Chad Scott know, knows he has flowers deep. But you've got to close the gap more than that. It Steelers. Booty goes right. Catch is made by Moles on the out pattern. Well, in this situation, you still have enough time on the clock that you can afford to work a sideline. And the uh, Wade Phillips quick to point out that they are starting to find uh, trying to find a group. Play fake. Booty finds Moles. Is out of bounds with the first and goal at the eight yard line in front of that's Lee Flowers. His job is to get the hit. Eric Molds, a la Michael Irvin, just takes Flowers and throws him out of the way. You see, that's what a receiver learns after he's only thrown one ball to Eric Molds all day long. Second down and ten down the sideline to Molds. What a catch down the sideline! He beat the veteran Eric Allen. He's got a first down. Molds line up 33. Well, this is Eric Allen covered one on one the same way that Andre Reed was going after Charles Woodson on the other side in the earlier series. And the Raider 12, first down and 10. Flutie again to the air and to the end zone for Molds. Touchdown. Molds, they haven't gone to him much. But when they have against Eric Allen, that's where they've made most of their hay. Beautiful throw over the top. The trajectory of the ball dropped it in just right. Doug Flutie in about a three-step back pedal. And then either team. Washington came in plus 11 turnover ratio, leading the NFC. Flutie will throw it. And caught. Eric Moulds, an acrobatic grab. As and this isn't a pass play and pass reception. What this is, two players on the same page that know each other. He turns and looks for the ball, twists his body around, makes the play. The reason to the quarterback for me anytime. Now Reed in motion. Third and nine. Flutie on a quick throw caught by Moulds. Salters into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo Bills. Things would have 31 points late third quarter. I don't know many people that would have picked the Bills. Not many at all. And Eric Moles just runs right through the tackle of Daryl Green. But it's body positioning. When you get in the red area, you've got to get close on a line. Colleges don't use two backs anymore, so there's no lead blockers coming in the NFL. Sun has come out for a moment here. Third and one. Flutie face wide open Eric Moles. Moles going to take it the distance. when you stick one at boy good blocking up front faking the run and eric molds waits delays sneaks out and completely fools the miami defense holds against sam madison down at the bottom of the screen you could you could watch football games all year in the nfl and you will never see a wide receiver that wide open 
But that is just good game play. Downfield a whole lot. Thus the spread on third down. Third and four in a 14-0 Jet game. Across the middle, Moles, he's got some room. Being chased and caught, but inside the 25, Ray Mickens saved the touchdown. Eric Moulds gets a step on the secondary. It's a blitz adjustment. And you can see right there that Omar Stottmeyer just releases Eric Moulds. He lets him get past him, and Doug Flutie making the adjustment again. The Jets came with the blitz off the corner. This time, advantage. 35, and this time from under center. Buddy, quick setup, goes left, caught, and that is very close for the first down. Buffalo now puts the ball in play. First down and 10 at the 22, and out of the shotgun again. Buddy goes deep left side, Eric Moulds at the 10-yard line. Six blitz coming, five-man rush. Buddy takes a shot, has a man open. Eric Moulds has Israel stuck. Touchdown, 54 yards. The luxury of having the wind at your back. And again, big plays are his specialty right there in the slot. And you see right now, Israel it, it just seemed baffled that instead of like running some hook or sideline pattern that, that Eric Moles was going to run downfield. Flutie to throw on first down. And puts it up deep as they challenge right away for Moulds. He's got it. He beat Emmanuel McDaniel on the play, and the Bills come out challenging. On the outside, they get in zone too deep over the top, and he sees the man coverage down the side, and he takes his shot. And they knew it. You know, they said 87 for Flutie. Four-man rush with time. Moulds, touchdown. Opening drive. I'm out. He's got Moles in the slot, and really, there hasn't been a cardinal touch. Defensive structure is the problem. That's Moles in the slot up here. You see our little red dot. That's the linebacker. That's the safety. What the linebacker's got to do is come up and jam him. He can't let him run the free release and wind up going down the middle of the football field untouched. He literally doesn't get touched by a cardinal till he gets hit at the eight. Blitz. Flutie just got it out to Moles. Oh, Flutie knew it. Hard. Reinhardt comes in and darn near takes him apart. Winds up getting the ball out to Moles, who makes the play. 53 yards total. And you got to be really conscious of Doug Flutie taking off and trying to run in this situation. Blitz again. Flutie throws complete to Moles. They have a first down. Third and five. Flutie lost it for Moles. That's what I'm talking about. Take your shot. It's all over the field. This time he just takes off. Excellent throw by Doug Flutie. To the outside, allow Eric Moles to adjust to it. Watch the adjustment he makes. Over the right shoulder. Terrific job. Doug Flutie dropped it right over. Back split. They go left side for Moles, and he gets the catch. And he's out of bounds at the one yard. Jones this time locked up one on one with Eric Moulds. There's contact down around the five yard line. Moulds with a pretty good swat to the shoulder there. Buys himself a little space. And Williams and Moulds are wide left. Footy finds Moulds at the 27 yard line. Expecting the Doug Flutie surprised New England when he came up under center. That's a down and distance where Buffalo really likes to use the spread formation and let Flutie see the field. He's finished for the day, and that means that Burt Berry is going to have to play in his spot. Johnson from Olds got him in stride, deep left side. The corner blitz, you see him there on the right, which means Belzer has the outside part of the field, and this is a mismatch. Jason Belzer does not have the foot speed to run with Eric Moulds. And how about Rob Johnson, Vern, and the way he has started this game throwing the football? That, yeah, he had a rib injury in that fifth game, and, and then it became the Doug Flutie show. Caught. First down. They gave up a lot in draft choices, and then secondly, they gave him $25 million, which is 
a lot of De Niro. <laughs> but this is why he's really a solid football player. He's about 26 for the day. Lennox Gordon is in. That running back, they're going to fire it to Eric Moles. And the kind of surprise. 540 to go in this one. It goes to Moulds inside the five. It and this is this is just really shocking to me that in this situation. Third and six. Neither team with a first down as yet. Johnson to Moulds. Beautiful throw and catch. He's the outside receiver. Watch. He's not even looking for the ball. That's confidence to be able to throw the ball and put it in the perfect spot over somebody's body and hands. Handle Jimmy Smith of the Jaguars. He should be able to handle Eric Moles. Moles just runs by him with a little move. Have yet to convert a third down in this game against the Lions. Take over for own 27. Johnson back to throw and throw to Moles. Eric Moles with that great speed and a cutball touchdown. <laughs> well, they did his job. Must have been listening. Well, I'll tell you what. Kurt Schultz, you talk about getting turned around. Well, yeah, they have no place to go and not even have any idea what's going on. This was a great throw and catch, but the end of it is beautiful. Now, this is why Westbrook comes up. They're playing what's considered a two deep. He doesn't really get a good jam. Moles does a nice side of get nice job of getting outside, and then it becomes a case of making Kurt Schultz try and find Johnson. And the Bills have taken the lead. Four-man rush. Quick throw to Moles. Moles 40. 30. Out of bounds at the 20. This is how strong he is. This is how strong he breaks Bishop's tackle. Samari can't even, he throws Samari away like he's not even there. He didn't convert in the first and two. He didn't convert them because of penalties and mistakes. First and ten bills from their own nine. Play action. Johnson going downfield looking for Molds. Oh, by Molds. What a grab. It's just a go route, and this is excellent coverage by Edwards. He just underthrows the football, and Edwards doesn't make an adjustment. There's nothing you can do there. That's I an mean, sometimes catch. guys are going to make plays like that, and that's why Eric Molds is a receiver in this offense that they need to try to push the ball to more because he is a... Thus far. Bills first and 10 at their own 46. Play action. Johnson throws it outside, complete to Molds again. Molds wow. takes one man. Wakes up the Bills' offense. Their driving will be back with the close of this first half in a moment. Into the Packers since 1989. This is the first game he's missed since 89 because he's back home trying to get people to vote for that referendum as Moles gets a first down for the Jets digging in. Johnson to Moles. See Rob Johnson going to him all the way. No, no attempt to look anybody off. And Eric Moulds gets his first touchdown of this campaign. Bemisler went out. He's one for six from his own end zone. Fires to the sidelines. Complete to Moulds. And Moulds has the first. Again, no protection in the backfield. A quick throw to Moulds. Trying to get out of it. Being Buffalo's leading rusher. Get out of bounds. Seven catches today. That gives him uh, 16 on the early year. And that's the man he finds open again. Final game of the regular season. Inside Moles. At the 35. Four right here from the 45. Johnson to the sideline. Moles with the catch. First down. I'm up in the slot here. He's just going to run that quick out. Fakes inside. Blitz coming off the coverage. Blevins not going to get out there. See, if they got that quick route, you got to know the down and distance. On the in Indianapolis 40. Johnson down the sideline. Moles got it. Touchdown.
We like Eric Mould. What about Rob Johnson? Little confusion, little razzle dazzle on the offensive side of things. And nobody's there to pick up Eric Mould. Tony Blevins got to get over the top, the safety over the top, the double, the seam route coming outside. Here's Jason Felder. He's in zone. You'll see him drop back, level off. Tony Blevins up here. He's got to be over the top. Double coverage. We talked about the confusing zone. From the shotgun. Down the sidelines to Mould, who catches it on the run at the 35. He's down. Beautiful throw. Johnson to Mould's out to play the outside corner. Sertain moves inside on the slot. And this is just Mould's fighting his way past Terrence Shaw, who looked to me like he was expecting Mould. I'll tell you that for the Redskins. First and 10. This drive starts from the 30. Sammy Morris lines up to the near side. Catch and throw in traffic. Boy, tough throw. 10. Coming up on the five-minute mark of the second quarter. Johnson on the rollout. He can run. Throws wide open. It's Moles. Bucked out of bounds. Inside the 20 by Dur Punt. Interception punt. It does not look good at all. Coming up throwing in the first throw. This is just nice one-on-one. -on -one, nice move in the zone. He finds the opening with a deep curl. Johnson throws and complete at the 45-yard line. Option. Rob Johnson dodged the bullet there, and Eric Moles did a good job of coming back to the football. Receivers, young receivers out there, you need from him and Flutie. You got to make some plays. Johnson throws on the run. Moles chased down. You're absolutely right, and you'll see Moles come into the screen as he's crossing, and they have both receivers cross. San Diego is in a zone. Looking on from the shotgun is Johnson. Chase and throws incomplete. Five wide receivers. First and ten. Flutie pedals back. Throws rainbow. And it's caught at the 27. All receivers. And he just throws the ball up in the air. I mean, he throws it up high. You know, get the ball up in the air. And my Four wide receivers. Protection goes to the end zone for Moles. Touchdown, Buffalo. Eric Moles. This is a perfect strike to Eric Moles. He's running with Robert Griffith, and that is a matchup. Strong safety against talented wide receivers. And none of them were very good. <laughs> Still looking for that first winner, huh? Quick throw is complete. First down to Eric Moles. So the we're back at their own 10-yard line, Buffalo. And this is uh, Mould using his big body at 6'2". Again, the ball out in front of him. That's a wonderful catch by Mould. Look at him dig out the ball. He only catches the top third of that. The uh, 44 of Minnesota, 7-3 Buffalo leads. The throw and open is Moulds, and he has another first down to the 32 of the Vikings. Defense a little unsure of itself as to where everybody's going. Right at the line of scrimmage, Robert Tate, he, he gets the jam on Moulds, gives him the inside. They can't do anything except watch. It's third and closer to four. Looting, complete again to Moulds, and Moulds having a field day here at the Met in the second quarter. Understar. On the road as an underdog. <laughs> Look at Eric Moulds with that big body of his. And everybody in that Minnesota defense knows it. They chewed up a ton of time approaching the two-minute warning. Flutie throws to Moles. Moles jukes and gets the first down. Bumped out of bounds at the eight. Well, Doug Flutie again is right on it with this pass. And this is really a nice job by Chris Dishman. He doesn't go for the fake. He doesn't lose his head. That's very good. Flutie. Moles left alone in the middle. He's inside the... What we do know is that Eric Moulds had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Completely unnoticed there in the Vikings zone. They all want to embrace him, and he's a tough fighter, and he's got a very difficult challenge here as he fires down the center, and Moulds has it. Does he get out of bounds? Uh, he's still no. out of bounds. Pass to Shepard. One first down. Yeah. Well, the Jets had 20, so they got the Jets' offense the ball. Pass by the complete, and Eric Moulds, one of the premier. Receivers in football is in.
three receivers to one side. Eric Mould, the farthest to the inside. And when he makes his break to the sideline, it's already been cleared by his compatriots. Third and five. Flutie. Uh, gun. Quick throw. Good catch by Mould. He's to the 30. And, and Marcus Coleman, number 42, uh, the, the second receiver in is Mould. It's right there and almost like jumped out of the way of Eric Moulds. I, I'm not sure what Coleman was. The throw to Moulds. 40 of the Jets. Moulds over the top. Last year, they moved into corner. And take a look at this. And the reason I say is this. He just never is comfortable enough to turn around and play the football. He's only looking at Eric Moulds. He never sees the football. And thus, he's never a able to react. Four row and turnovers in their win at the Meadowlands today at Buffalo. Game tied at 17. The long throw to Moulds. shade into the sun when he's going to spin back here there's the sun in his eyes and somehow he's able to pinpoint the football open backfield there comes the linebackers Flutie throwing on the run makes a connection it is it good for the first down it doesn't look like it is well let's see if the linesman comes in and a favor he just turns it away from the defender and shields it and down a long seven the this is the thing you see him do. He's so physical as a receiver, he just goes up. With the penalty, third and seven, as Moulds goes across the set. Flutie from the gun. Underneath to Eric Moulds. Moulds, first down, Buffalo. As he runs over his old partner, Thomas Smith. A lot of seven yards a clip coming in today. Second and seven. <laughs> Johnson goes up the field. What a catch by Moles. Flag comes in. It'll most like the same breath as a Jerry Rice. You know, as all the great receivers out there. Look like McCorders. 21. Might have gone on him a little late. I don't know. Penalty's declined. He's in his face. He's not Players turning and looking the ball. Down. He's making contact right there. Yeah, and that's the flag was on McCorders. It's declined as the play. Uh, resulted in a reception by Molds for 24 yards. But look at the way Molds goes up and takes the. I guess they can win with both. Play action. Mm -hmm. Flutie looking down the sidelines to Molds. He makes another catch in traffic. Uh... Molds does such a great job of adjusting to the ball. Rob Johnson to the sideline, caught by Eric Molds and out of bounds, That's and Eric, Eric Moulds now sets a franchise record. He's caught at least one pass in 44 consecutive games. That's not a good sign. Bulls average 109 yards rushing a game. Johnson on the bootleg into the end zone. Touchdown! Eric Moulds, and just like that, the Buffalo Bills march it right down the Kansas City Chiefs' throats. Eric Moulds in the slot. Watch this. I think he's probably working against the rookie, Greg Wesley, 25. And, he's, and once he gets by him, he points. You saw, actually, mental for both of these teams to win this game today. On third down, another first down. This is Moulds. Going against bump and run. Watch him get off the line of scrimmage. Hasty here. Going a little arm inside. Oh, there's no pushing off there. Knows exactly where he is. They need to go to the 17. Here comes a blitz. Johnson to the sideline. Caught by Mole. What do you think on third down for the fourth time? The old slide out. Stop, slide back out right there past the first down. Automatic loss unless you're playing the Cleveland Browns. Third down at five from the 42. Johnson underneath, Moulds with the catch, and Moulds tiptoes out of bounds inside Kansas City territory. And with that reception, Moulds is now the third player in Bill's history to post two or more 1,000-yard seasons. And Eric Moulds saw his side of blocker outside. You see the two Chiefs run into each other, coming across, Hasty and Dennis, and Moulds trying to stay in three for a first down. Fearless Price in motion. Johnson throws Moulds with the catch. Fans on their feet at Arrowhead. Johnson to the sideline. Great catch by Moulds. And he's close. 
He picked that one up off the carpet. And he sure did it. Strong players. Watch him run on the, the out route. Coming right now. He's got it open right now. Rob throws it a little wow. bit behind him. Has to come back for the ball. And there's his knee. And you got to mark it right where the ball is when his knee hits. And he might be six inches short. I think he might have it. He does. Has certainly had a playmaker kind of year. Second and four. Johnson underneath to Molds. And he dives to the 16-yard line. Today, you know, they only throw me the ball two or three times a game. They throw it to Eric Molds 15 times a game. Well, Eric Molds uh, certainly is the leading character and the, and the figurehead of this Buffalo passing. Invasion for Buffalo. They haven't come away with much. Johnson fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Eric Moles. And Moles has his fifth score of the year. And to the Bills, strike quickly. Just classic drop back, no play action. Beautiful blocking. And it's man coverage. Barber on Moles. And it's no contest. No contest at all. Flutie fires. And there's the first catch today by Eric Moles. His 85th of the year. Well, Patrick Sertain, unaware of where the football is in that coverage. Moles still does not have a reception. Hello? Just say it, and there it is. To the 21-yard line. So it took him big, strong, got a nasty streak to him. Here he is, number 80, right here. Watch after the catch. He's going to punish Chad Cota and then take on David Macklin and get all the way inside or right down to the 20-yard line. Plus, Johnson got your note about stepping up in the pocket, Dan. That's two patterns in a row he's done it. As you can see with the yellow line of the 33 to convert. And they do because Holmes makes the catch. Second grab of the ninth four. Flutie setting up, looking down the sideline. Moles with the catch on a ball. Ball. Let's watch Eric Moles versus Lawyer Malloy, two of the best in the league right here, getting out, finding that soft spot in the zone right there outside the press cover. For Flutie. Blitz coming. Throw sideline and oh. caught by Moles. Oh, my. What a throw. Guy is going to the Pro Bowl, and he is... I, in my opinion, it still is, I think, right now, the, one of the best receivers in the National Football League, if not the best. And he has just set a single-season record with his 91st catch, breaking a tie with Andre Reid. If, if you ever caught a football in your life, you'll know how difficult this catch is because you really lose sight of the ball when it comes over your helmet. But what wins it is the release off the line. Now, Sean Springs is a pretty darn good corner. Seven. Flutie to throw. Excellent protection. Deep down the middle, caught by Moles. Complete oh, out. Sean Springs was all over him. He caught it anyway. Sean Springs really played the ball. This is as good a defensive play as you can make as a corner. Sean Springs is running man for man with Eric Moles. And you know, watch him now. He's going to play the ball. He looks back at the ball. He sees it. He goes up at the same time. Now you see how strong Moles is. Look at this. He just takes the ball away between his arms. You know what else I like? I'm going to give the officials some credit right here. They let two guys go up and have hands on one another. The talent. But his biggest thing is staying on the field. First down, Buffalo. Flutie with time. Throws behind Moles. He caught it again. Another oh. remarkable grab. Oh, I am so glad we're watching this show. Oh, for people who aren't watching this, are they missing something special? Eric Moles is the inside receiver. Again, Sean Springs has him everywhere. This ball is thrown low and inside. Watch where Flutie throws this. I like what Flutie said about this guy with Moles. He says, I got a thing with Moles. I, I know where he He's trying to force things in there. Aaron Brooks has dropped a lot of passes, uh, dropped a lot of snaps. And he's just playing out of the ball. But now Eric Moles gets into the ball game as Rob Johnson finds him for a big gainer. It's the guy they need to get started. You turn him on, he can he can light some things up for you. Eric, Eric Moles just comes down, finds a spot in the middle of the field. The ball's delivered perfectly. He's one of the best in the league at just taking the ball and down. 
Makes it first and ten. Rob Johnson stands in there, giving him protection. Going on the run, he gets Eric Moles, who turns up field. And Moles, who will not go out of bounds. On track. They have to get the quarterback, Steve McNair, healthy, but they have defense, and they can run the ball with Eddie Jewell. First and ten from the 20. Play fake. Johnson. First play from scrimmage, third quarter. And Johnson puts it upstairs. Caught by Moles. He missed tackles. Second down long, two from the 47. And he's got him. And he's in for a touchdown. The big play guy. He's the best player on the Bills offense. Anytime they can get one on one with him out there, win. Three. Buffalo at the Jets, inside the Jets, 37. Blocked by Reuben Brown. That's a first down reception made by Eric Moulds at the New York Jet 28-yard line. It's a gain of nine on fourth and three for the Buffalo Bills. Now, I like that. They, they got to steal here. If he's looking at you, he's booking. That means he's going to keep <laughs> going. If he's not, he's going to hook up inside there. They've got their little patterns. That... Alex Van Pelt at his 46, first and 10. Two touchdown passes by Van Pelt. The fake to centers. Gets by Abagu. Throws it downfield. Wide open is Moulds. Hit by Mickens. Grabbed by Victor Grimm. Van Pelt allowed himself to get some more time. You know, he stepped up in the pocket two or three yards, but he didn't take off and run. He waited until uh, Moulds got deep and drilled it. Nice arm there. Here's Moulds. Johnson with time, Moles first down inside the 10. Here's come out, run a route. Rob's going to look at him. Moles is going to run up on top and make the play. Looks at Larry Centers. The linebackers jump him, opens up the holder, star than he's been. Third and seven, Jacksonville trying to protect its lead. Johnson with time, throws Moles wide open, touchdown. Ainsley battles the strong safety. Eric Moles, Fernando Bryan is number 25. Ainsley battles. Now right there, you see now battles is in the top of your screen. He's supposed to be the guy covering Moles and getting deep. He's not. And because he doesn't get up top, Eric Moles has got himself an easy score. The total offense, 35 via the ground. He throws, and it's caught. Another first down for Buffalo. Well, Eric Moles makes the catch. Price in motion. Johnson throws far sideline and leaning out close to the first down. It will give Buffalo fresh downs. Well, Moulds is not really built like a receiver. His physique is more like a strong safety. So once he makes his catch, the cornerback ride. Third down five. From their own 46-yard line, Johnson pumps, throws, wobbly ball, tip, cut! What a catch pulled down at the 22 for the corner he'll react back so it's a double move a pump good coverage but the ball is short now after that it's just a matter of who's able to close to it better and i'll tell you i'll take eric molds over most safeties in the league and jason perry's a good athlete but he's a backup trevor it was obvious speed and bad weather can come with it yeah, it's going to affect play today in some way shape or form you just don't know how yet rob johnson stands in gets a lot of time shoots it out and gets the great eric molds Making his 22nd catch. Both these teams want to keep pace offensively. They've got to match scores. We heard that from both sides of the ball. Here's a near side throw. Beautifully done to Moulds, who's ahead to the 42-yard line. One-on-one -on -one with one of the best receivers in the league. And you've got to respect his speed. And Macklin gives him a big cushion. Rob Johnson sees it. And that's one of the things I think is a mistake. From the 28. Here's Johnson to throw underneath Moulds with the catch at the 30 motion you see the blitz from the Patriots and that's a hot read right there of course Eric Moulds has been around in this league a long excellent catch and Kelp looking long he's got a man opening Moulds and Moulds has the ball Eric Moulds is inside the 20 and down to the 18 it's a big play well Spit Eric Moulds working right against Sean Springs and you'll see here Springs tries to grab him Moulds just runs away from him and you can bet they're going to be chirping at each other after that one Moulds and we asked Sean Springs yesterday, okay, Sean, if you and Eric ran 10 routes against each other, how many times would Eric get open? And Sean Springs said, none. A price in motion. And Van Pelt right to work. He to the side, caught by Eric Moulds. Breaks the tackle, gets a great block, and there he goes! It's a foot race with the linebacker, Derek Rogers, and Moulds will win this. And Buffalo is on the board.
are listening to our on cameras there, you know, get the ball to number 80. You know, and what they've done here is the Dolphins were trying to put Patrick Sertain over there to protect Jamar Fletcher. They wanted Sertain covering number 80. Moulds is the best player on their offense. They got to get the ball. Second down and four from the 17. A fake to Bryson who offers a block for Van Pelt who fires a pass to Moulds. Breaks another tech. On the outside over here, they do a nice job of blocking Jason Taylor out. They get the play they want. Moulds to the middle of the field. But again, people... The Lions doing a good job of keeping them away from Van Pelt. Henry back in the game outside the 45. First down and 10. It's a fake to Henry who offers a block. Van Pelt going deep for Moulds. Oh, what a catch! Steps back, one, two, three, lets it go deep. Jamar Fletcher over here, Patrick Sertain, no help over the top. They got the matchup and the mismatch in their mind that they wanted, that's Jamar Fletcher. He, Jamar Fletcher, the rookie, wide, outside, by himself, with Alex Van Pelt hitting Eric Moulds. Now, Eric Moulds is only about six inches in front, but in their words around here, they say, if you're six inches in front of a guy, you're wide open. I'm gonna get to the ball. Buffalo out of timeouts. Centers in the backfield. Van Pelt across the middle. Caught by Eric Bowles. Breaks a tackle of Marion and is tripped. Just they're deep in their own territory. Van Pelt sets the quick out to Moles. And Moles will pick up a first down. <laughs> and Alex played at about 220, and now he's down at 211. He shedded some weight in a hurry so he could get quicker and be, uh, be able to compete at least. Moles taking down at the all-time leading passer among Heisman winners in their rookie year. Not bad. They had another Heisman winning quarterback last night. There's Alex Van Pelt squeezed that one in there to Eric Moles. Well, they need touchdowns. They've been able to put drives together, but set up for two field goals so far. That's Eric Moles again, cutting across the field, gets a block and the first down. But this. Belichick team, Eric Moles, a guy he expect to play well, has disappeared. Didn't do much in the first game, and the Bills lament. We've got to do better on third down today. Well, they're not doing well at all. They're 0 for 6 on third downs. This third and five, and here's Moles. No sooner said, Steve. And he reappeared. The games, that was to Tampa Bay. There's a throw to the out pattern. The ball is uh, taken in by... Eight minutes to go in the game. And the Bills battling to make first downs. The Patriots not giving an inch. And here's just a ball that goes through a diff. Win over the Jets. Gave up no touchdowns in the win over Cleveland last week. No touchdowns today. He said that uh, Tampa Bay was the Jets. That, uh, they the slant watches. Terrell Buckley guarding him. He just beats him to the football. And this is three consecutive plays. They've gone to area center. Two wide outs to the top of your screen. They set and throw. A little square out, and it's caught by Moles. Out of bounds. For Over the middle, they run up and spike it. They don't have to work the sidelines exclusively. Four wideouts. Bryson alone back. Van Pelt pedals back. Flush from the pocket. Throws. Caught. Out of bounds. Stops the clock. Eric Moles with a great body control reception. Inside the 35-yard line. He makes this play off of the scramble. And on the run, he throws this ball perfectly so that only Moles can catch it. He has to get it up and over Buchanan, and he has to get it there before the safety help can get there. Again, remember this drive with no time. Week in a tight game against New England. Lost that one in overtime, 12-9 in a, a game of field goals. Van Pelt throws on the fingertips. Touchdown, Moles! Oh. And Van Pelt, right on the money. You could not have thrown that ball. As the playoff picture becomes starting to focus now on this final day, here is a throw downfield. It's caught. Running ahead and getting for the first down yardage to the 33-yard line is Eric Mould. This is Alex Van Pelt looking back, looks to his right, then back over the middle. Eric Mould has had good games against the Dolphins. Surprising. I think one of the reasons he does is because it's a... A boost to the whole league when everybody's got a shot this late. Great. Every game means a lot. Here's a Brown throwing beautifully thrown to Moles, as a, and now Moles turns it upfield, and all of a sudden Travis Brown is starting to find the range. Sunday, winning today, they will be at home in the first round. 
Long ball downfield. Eric Moe steals it beautifully and steps out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Next weekend in a wild card game in the AFC. Their hammer today was Lamar Smith. 30 carries for 158 yards and a touchdown. Travis Brown throws. And look at Eric Moulds on the run. And he's down inside. the patience and the courage it takes for a quarterback to stand there like a Drew Bledsoe did and Eric Mould sees it breaks the route and Bledsoe quick drop quick throw to Mould and Mould breaks free down the sideline it's almost it's given that they're going to jump off sides Bledsoe pump fakes now goes to the end zone comes in oh boy you know what it was it was nothing as Eric Moulds does it was Drew Bledsoe he makes the pump fake and it kept the safety to the outside oh and it almost goes through first down at the 41 lets over the sideline on a rope to Moulds and Moulds steps out of bounds at the 46 bounds, and we're tied at 39 Let's over the sideline, Moles with the catch, wrapped up at the 37, first down for Buffalo. Field for 10 yards, huge play, and you see him staying with the no huddle. They've got a mismatch that they think they can capitalize on, right? Here's here. Kevin Gilbride, the offensive coordinator, calling the plays. Bledsoe down the seam, throws a rope. Moles turns it up, and Moles gets down at the 25. The no huddle, get a mismatch. You get Eric Moles one-on-one -on -one outside, Coming on that post route, Drew behind him a little bit. You see Eric Moltz open up his hips and get the ball and go away back to the... To do a little slam fist with Moles. 50 yards down the field, it's Drew Bledsoe. Puts that ball, he put that on his fingernails. Right at the edge of his fingernails. That play came on third and five. Eric Moltz is a number one third down receiver. Now for the Denver Broncos, that means those same three fast linebackers but then five defensive backs. Two timeouts for Buffalo, first and jump from the 30-yard line. Great time for Bledsoe, wings and picks up field for a first down call. Big race today, first and goal at the two. Centers in the backfield. Bledsoe to the end zone and caught by Moulds for a touchdown. Bledsoe's second touchdown pass today. And Moulds knows my, the defender's inside. So Drew's going to throw it out. Sideline, the calm one on the field. And Eric Moulds is the money man, bringing Buffalo within five points. Wetzel to throw on third down, looking for Eric Moulds, who makes the catch. Inside the 20-yard line, a gain of 35 yards from Wetzel. And here they go on the go route. Molds against Azuma. Ledger now four for five in the air. Three wide receivers set on second and ten. Ledger over the middle. Caught by Eric Molds. Has a first down. Out. Earlier they're without Phillips in. They're not passing. Ledger hit on third and ten. Gets rid of it and has the first down. Well, Reggie Austin has the coverage here on Eric Molds. And he loses that inside position. Can go from the four. Double tight end set. Fletcher firing to the end zone. Eric Bowles has the touchdown. That's the same play they scored their other touchdown win. Only it was Peerless Price on Peerless on, on Bowles. But he does the same thing. Stop it right there. Look at that. He does the same thing. He looks inside. And then he breaks outside, and the ball is delivered perfectly. Same exact. They'll start with three wideouts for their own 44-yard line. Henry, the long back. Blitz off to the air. What a catch. Eric Bowles. 
at the Chicago. Right in college, but he's got those big guys, Perella and Adams, in there to kind of protect him. Second down, 10. Bryson is in the game, offers a block, and that ball on a deflection is caught by Moore. See Armstrong on the right side? Get his arm up. He tips it. The receiver, Eric Mould, stays with it. So you'll see Trace Armstrong right there. He drops back. He gets the tip. You want to talk about concentrated big bucks. Third down, short three inside the 24. Look for Price. He's been a great third down receiver today. Looks up to the side. And it is caught at the two to Eric Mould. Eric Mould's down the field. Excellent job up front of pass blocking. But when the break comes, look at him stop. Bang, because he knows where Drew Bledsoe is going to deliver the ball on the outside shoulder. Started to look like a fade and ends up being sort of a mini comeback. Third down and 12, Bledsoe at his 18. Remember the point about turnovers and big mistakes in the fourth quarter. Bledsoe has thrown one pick. That is the only turnover of the game. And the Raiders cashed in with a touchdown. Bledsoe. Nicely moves up to the pocket, throws a first down pass to Eric Moles. The catch in the 12. Yeah, I can see it right now back in the set at NFL today. Dan Marino saying, you know, guys don't have to scramble. Drew Bledsoe bought the time for Eric Moles to get that pass because he kind of, he did a Marino. He kind of game. I mean, we're talking about over 600 yards of passing, and this is starting to look like that game in 92 between the Niners and the Bills. First and 10, Bledsoe at the 42 of the Raiders, swings it down the sideline. And we've talked on numerous occasions about the chemistry. Look at the drive-off by Eric Bowles, the first move. The rookie Buchanan. You see when we open up. There's Bledsoe looking. Iron fastball, a nice catch. Moulds with his second catch of the day. Good. Now the Texans. Let's go. Look. Fires open man. There he is. Eric Moulds. The best eventually emerges, and Eric Moulds is the best. It all comes from the fact that Drew Bledsoe has all the time in the world watches. He gives a hard pump fake to the right, and then right down the hash mark, Eric Moulds one on one with Marcus Coleman, and if you've got that much time guarding Eric Moulds, you know, you're just not going to get it done. I mean, Eric Moulds minus the fumble. The fumble that was turned into for the moment, a go-ahead touchdown, and the Bills came back to tie the game ahead. A throw and a catch and a move by Eric Moulds, and Moulds making plays now after he was shut out through almost three quarters of the... That's a good protection. He's going long. A man wide open is Moulds. At the 20, the 10, touchdown Buffalo! Oh my! 70. Eric Moulds, after all these years, continue to get past corners and safeties. You can see right there that Sam Madison lets him go, thinking that Brock Marion is going to be there to take runs Brock Marion's coverage back here, who should have the deep outside of the field because at a point right here, Sam Madison just lets him go because he knows he's got help to the outside. Marion way late getting over there, and Drew Bledsoe, you know, Dick, it looked like one of my kids asking for a 10. Charles Haley, the pass rush specialist, helping with that pressure. Third down, over the middle, complete to Moles, and Moles crosses midfield and hits in Florida. Here's a man, Travis Henry, that had 4,000 yards rushing his senior year in high school. That's unreal. And this is a throw and a catch to Mould. And the Bledsoe checking off at the line. He'll try to throw the quick out, the pump fake. They're going up deep. Wide open is Mould. Mould has it at the 10, down to the four-yard line. Only a safety in the middle. That means Light has to take this play all the way to the end zone. Bledsoe sees it. He pump fakes to draw off the safety and get light out of position. And I, I think that... Good throw out. That's Moulds. Moulds has enough for the first down. Little hitch pass, but it's been Eric Moulds all day long today with a lot of big plays. Catching that ball downfield, beating the press coverage to the inside. And then on this last third down conversion, a big conversion. Tremendous receiving core to throw to. They need to convert this 37, and they do. And that's, that's what I was talking about on the last series. I said, 
you know, don't you just go to the, to, you know, you dance with the girl that brought you. I mean, you, you go with what has gotten you to second place in the division. That's very nice. And same to Boomer Sison. He's nominated for the Hall of Fame, too. Maybe if we package this together, we'd have a chance. Bledsoe. Over the middle. Got his man first down yarded. Eric Moles. Goes just a perfectly touched pass over the linebacker in front of the second. Second and seven. Blitz. Bledsoe down the sideline. Eric Moles has it across the 40, out to the 43 yard line and a first down. William Barty is on him. Drew Bledsoe, they've done this so many times. He just throws a line drive over the top of the quarterback's head. And Eric Moles, he's so athletic, so big, and he attacks the football. We hear that all the time. Drew Bledsoe talks about it. He attacks. Now the blitz. Throwing for the end zone. Touchdown, Eric Moles. <laughs> Drew Bledsoe, you can see the blitz coming up inside. Doesn't panic. Makes the perfect throw. And I think it's against Corey Harris, number 40. That's who it is. Watch as you look. Corey Harris, watch him. He's looking at Drew Bledsoe. But Bledsoe. Your call for Greg Williams. And Bledsoe looks for something big, and he gets the catch from Eric Moulds inside the 10-yard line. From Eric Moulds. And here he is locked up on Aaron Beasley, and he spins him all the way around. <laughs> now, Beasley has the outside part of the field, but I'm telling you right now, anytime a receiver makes a corner do a 360. Miami Dolphins with 10 straight quarters without a turnover. They've turned it over twice in the last two quarters now. Bledsoe going deep, down the middle. Tip caught. Eric Moles, touchdown. What a catch by Moles. And let's get our wide receivers down the field. Oh, nice move. A little hesitation. And it's Sam Madison who does not make the play once the football is in the air. And you know what? Everybody's going to go, oh, come on. Listen, for a defensive back to be running full speed, to look up and see a ball thrown that far and that high, it's very tough to make the catch. Sam Madison's unfortunate that it bounces to Eric Moulds. What a fine grab, but play fake. Bledsoe coming deep. Mold got it. Out of bounds inside the five-yard line. It'll be first and goal. You think Drew Bledsoe? Watch Mold. Sam Madison, he recognizes it. He turns on the speed, tries to get his arm in it over the outside shoulder. That is perfect. You know. Drew Bledsoe's having fun out there. His last three passes, he's... He'll sneak in there and get six or seven, but it's hard to get ten. Bobbing for the end zone. That is caught, and a touchdown. Eric Moore. Number 80 gets Ty Law. Ty Law, good technique. Sees the ball. That's tough. That's a good description, Greg. It's just what a catch. That was clear and clean with the right hand. Well, it's Bledsoe trying to throw the line drive. Ty Law's <laughs> looking, but you can't stop that type of play. He still hasn't put a second hand on the football. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know these gloves help. Not that much. <laughs> That's right, not that much. <laughs> I couldn't make that catch if I had a baseball <laughs> mitt. Meanwhile, for San Diego, quite the opposite. Drew Brees has been well protected, and he can often get out of trouble. Blitz up. Blitz coming. Unloads to Moles. Come after him. He's still playing by the textbook. Hasn't learned the old pro moves just yet. Wiley said his cell phone was ringing the second they landed here in Buffalo with all the old acquaintances that he had. Shotgun on a third and 13. Bledsoe steps up. Bledsoe throws. Brought in by Moulds. He turns it inside. And a first.
first down for Bucks. Bucks are up, loses backfield, and Bucks went across the middle. Molds shedding a tackle on the play of Anderson. Brought down by Rod Walker. And he uh, caroms his way for his receivers. Either Peerless Price or Eric Molds working out his slot just decides he wants to be better than this deep. Boy, it is. It's a great balance. Let's go. This is Eric Mullins. He'll knock people over. He puts that straight arm out. He'll flatten you. That's a fourth to number one receiver. This is why he goes to the Pro Bowl. He plays wide receiver with a big streak of. Remiers with a tight end is set to the left. He's good in these close situations. Letso throws. And they go off the right flank. Eric Mullins with his 10th touchdown. Eric Moulds or Peerless Price. He's going to find him. And right there, Eric Moulds matched up with Jeff Burris. And Burris has no chance. Way to go to get a first down. They're forced to throw the football deep. Their running game and has just not carried them to the first down. And they're forced to throw here as Bledsoe on third down takes a look, fires, and makes the connection to Eric Moulds. High-tech, high-speed in it. Covers up the problems they had on first and second down. And that's been the story of this football team. When they don't come through with huge third down conversions, they do not look good offensively at all. But when they do... Well, they do it week after week, and unfortunately, year after year. And here is Moulds. Put one guy out on Eric Moulds, and if Drew Bledsoe gets him the ball as fast as he did on that play, Artrell Hawkins... Not to be outdone, the Bills' offense displayed an impressive... I would think it makes that uh, the Monday video session yes. less appealing. Red so, dodges it, goes deep for Molds. Got it! Inside the 40. And it's why you hear he steps up, plants, and goes. No pressure in the middle. And he delivers just a perfect football to Eric Molds. <laughs> Uh, Drew Bledsoe is, uh, it's just fun to watch him play. 2003, this the year of 2003, O.J. Simpson opened that season with 250 yards against the New England Patriots. Here's Bledsoe, got a man! Eric Moulds at the 32. In the football, a defeat of a player. New point of that, emphasis this year. Here comes Eric Moulds trailing. The deeper pattern being run by Bobby Shaw. But Great season he had, and he's a huge asset to this offense, and I think he's an indication of what they want to do. Here's Bledsoe on second and 16. Lofts the ball down to Moulds, and Moulds has it inside the 20-yard line. Another phenomenal throw-catch combination by the Buffalo Bills. Well, if you're going to leave Brad Flint and Franklin ISO'd one-on-one with Eric Moulds, He's going to have to play better than that. He was totally outmatched, and you could tell. He had his head ducked. He was just trying to stay close to Eric Moulds. He didn't care where the football was. Just don't let him get wide open. And when that's the case, Eric Moulds, you know, the people in Buffalo have seen him. Last week for two touchdowns on passes. They'll be going after him again. Let's a look. Stands in. That's a long ball go. He's got a guy, and it's Eric Moulds for a touchdown. On a phenomenal 37-yard play as Bledsoe hangs in. You know, it doesn't even look like Eric Moulds is running hard. He kind of takes a couple of half steps in and then just turns it up. And the ball is right there, a little post and go. And Fernando Bryant flattened off too much on the post break and got caught on the go. And Drew Bledsoe anticipating the break. This one's big, third down and six. Jags jumped, it looked like. No flag. Now runs thrown and an open ball. It's thrown to Eric Moles who crosses midfield. That's no good. His 22nd career 100 yard receiving game. Bledsoe hitting 75% of his throws. The numbers build. This could go. Turning it up. And now out is Eric Moles, and he's down to the. And Tim, watch as he comes through. You may not be able to see it, but watch as it comes through. Two guys jump for it and missed, and then it's off to the races. Eric Moles is a phenomenal athlete. He was a Division I basket. I don't think this one will be an option pass. Bledsoe, short set, strike to Moles. Moles breaks the tackle down to the 21. Zach Thomas hanging on. Eric Moles, and throw a little slant. Look at the size of this guy. That ball is thrown perfectly. That's Junior Seau missing the tackle. Eric Moles picking up an extra couple yards. Guy absolutely loves the game. Now third and long, blitz coming. 
Bledsoe unloads to Moulds. Trying to get to the first down, sticks, and he did. What a play by Moulds. He knew exactly where. Here comes Moulds across the field. Now look at here. Number 24, Sammy Knight. He's the only guy chasing him. Everyone else is facing the other way. And there's a great block out on the corner. You'll see it. A great job by Josh. Percent. Bills have to get to the 43 for a first down. Bledsoe goes under pressure, gets it away to Moulds, tiptoes down the sidelines, and picks up the first block on the play. Line of scrimmage now the 18-yard line, second down and 22. Bledsoe steps up and throws complete. Out of the 33. And Eric Moulds is your guy. You're going to start feeling pretty good about yourself because now... Really, Buffalo backed up. The Chet three yard line. To the far side, Moulds. He made the catch at the Eagles 45. All on the line of scrimmage. They're challenging the receivers. And that's what you got to do in this business. If you don't have Brian Dawkins and Bobby Taylor in Pro Bowl corners, you at least got to go challenge. And that's a great. Throw down and 17. Bills have to get to the Eagles, 42. Ledge steps up and throws. There's Bowles. Penalty marker. Bowles does pick up enough for the first. Here it is. I mean, Sheldon Brown gets his hands on him, and he's like, I'm not going to let him off. 1978. Some rare black and white footage. Ledge the Bowles. As we hit the two-minute warning here. In a previous long run for a bill was 11 yards by Travis Henry this season. Bledsoe on first down. Triggers the pass to the Eric Moles, the all-pro, and he's inside the 25-yard line. So all of a sudden, uh, the Bills offense, now a 10-yard completion. And you wonder, you get the feel these Bills on offense are frustrated. They had the bad, two bad series to start this game. They only had two yards rushing coming into this drive. And finally, they've converted only one of nine third downs today of the Bills. They'll be cutting to end zone unless they can make this one work. They make it work. Yeah, the extension to the ball, and let's see the line. Watch here, this is Derek Moulds and James once again, and Moulds Huge drives play. him deep, whacks his arm off, and then it's about spinning and getting the first down. And indeed, they give it to them. Almost three yards. This could be the game. If they don't convert, the Bengals take over the ball. The wind is their back in two minutes to play. Bledsoe, dropping, look, throw, pass. Down Buffalo and Eric Moses and done until so he's all the way down to the 21 yard line. We thought that earlier that Bobby Shaw catch Steve was the biggest play of the season that kept the drive going. That one might be bigger. When your big playmakers have to come through. Eric Mould came through big on this play, caught the ball, had enough confidence to turn up for an 18 yard gain. Bigger than the 18 yard catch by Eric Mould on fourth and three. And the Bills would have lost control of the ball. Here is another throw, timing throw. Eric Moore heading down inside the 10-yard line and down to the 8. And a penalty caught it at 2 and got it. Watch this. Great play. Just picks it off the top of Torrey James. And there's the face mask by Case Bahar. Just came in late, had to do everything he could do to stop the touchdown. And the first thing he grabbed was the face mask, and that's an easy call. I think you kicked the field goal. Play with serious rib cartilage damage. Bledsoe looking for the first down and throws complete to Eric Moles, who missed a couple with a bad toes favorite target. Watch this. He sneaks out. There's nobody really around him. They're bringing number 25 Wesley a safety. Here. Guess he's proven that. Blitz coming on a delay. Bledsoe. Nice pass, has the first down, down to the 37. Apparently not. The Dallas Cowboys blitz the first play and the second. Second and 10. And pass is complete midfield. And into Buffalo territory is Eric Moulds for first down. Eric Moulds clearly happy to be back in action, having missed the last couple of games. For Gives that one little move that he loves to do. Finds Eric Moulds across the middle. And, yeah, Drew Bledsoe might not be the most mobile guy, but he's big, and when you get pressure around him, he had meeting between the Russian and Canadian pairs from the Olympics. And a quick throw is complete to Eric Moulds. I don't have a striped shirt. 
Second down, Leto to the sideline. And it's Eric Moulds who will use as much yardage as he can and then get out of bounds with 103 left. Get deep. The other guys aren't really speed guys. And when we talk about Peerless Price going over to Atlanta, they really miss that speed, that vertical sled. Let's go up top for Moulds. And Moulds. That contact, they're calling that right off the bat. You see Eric Moulds going up high. And let's see. I don't know if he was touched right there. And there's where he was down by contact, but th that ball gets stripped before he got hit. And when your knee's on the ground, and great job, and I don't think Will Allen is going to get up and touch him. And there's Moles. And see, defense not able to wrap up. Here's Bledsoe stepping up underneath. Moles with the catch, and all kinds of running room almost dropped it. And he gets down at the 28, a 21 yard return. He looks like they might be going on the road as a wild card if they get in. They've lost two in a row. Jeff's got a Monday night. Here is an out pattern to Eric Moulds. His 50th catch of the year. He caught 100 last year. He's had some injury problems this year. The Bills have not converted a third down in the game in five chances. Let's all fires. And they have one now. And streaking is Eric Moulds with his first catch of the game. Well, Tennessee comes with a corner blitz, and Eric Moulds breaks off his pattern and gives Drew Bledsoe a quick target. Cosmos into the backfield for Travis Henry. Third down and seven for Bledsoe. Throws as he's hit. And is that a catch by Moulds? He reached out with one hand and made the play. In traffic, going down, sensational catch. Well, Drew Bledsoe says they're going to blitz us until we prove we can handle it. Rocky Boyman buries Bledsoe, but not before he's able to deliver that. And you're right, a one-handed snag. Reduced to only a pair of catches this late in the game. Not good. There's a catch on the first down out across the 30-yard line. At the line of scrimmage. He's a pulling guard. Fist first and ten from their 46. Blitz the back pass. Blitz lays it up for Moulds. Moulds brings it in. I thought for a moment he might get called for offensive passing a little bit. Let's take a look at it right here. But uh, you know they could call on either guy. They're both throwing their hands a little bit. Oh, and that's that is supposedly illegal for the defender to do as well. And here's a quick pass of Moulds once again. Play action pass. Bledsoe goes downfield. That's Moles in the middle of the field. Catches it and turns up the field. Nice gain. So dangerous. David Thornton on the tackle. Bolts finding the open spot. And Drew did a very good job himself of faking the run on that play. That was a good play. It's not that many attempted just for that reason. Bledsoe on the play action. Gets rid of it. Caught by Moles on the sideline. Inside the five. Free late. Bledsoe stood in there and found his man, Eric Great Moles. route by Eric. He really convinces the DB he's going deep, breaks out, and it's a, well, a great timing route. Drew delivered. Second down and nine. Bledsoe gets a look. And he's going ball. Wide open receiver. Touchdown, Buffalo. Eric Moles, who caught only one touchdown pass last year, gets one on opening day. A 17-yard throw. He was one day as a head coach in the NFL. Sees his Bills take a 7-0 lead. Lindell kicks off. We come back to Ralph Wilson Stadium. When he goes up the sideline, someone has to follow him. The safety jumps on the crossing route, and there's nobody home. Yeah, Bills uh, make it lens. It comes to the NFL as a linebacker. Undersized and very fast. And others, Roosevelt Colvin, who's now the Patriots. Here's a throw and a catch. Beautifully done. Eric Moulds. One, two, three, and out all the time last year. And a lot of it has to do with Eric Moulds' injuries. He was not healthy enough. You see there. Scoring touchdowns. Third down. They need a long six. Here's an out pattern. Beautifully executed. Eric Moles at the near sideline. You kick a long field goal into the wind. The wind is really swirling, not that strong. Jerron Bolden gets him down. After review, the ball carrier with the ball in his possession stretched the ball beyond the 28 yard line and his foot touched out of bounds. Therefore, the play results in a first down. Now needing four. 
Pitches are aligning. Here they come. Bledsoe looks. Timing throw. Beautifully executed to Eric Moles. Injury in an early game and was limited all season by it. Well, he always plays with a chip on his shoulder. He's one of the most intimidating wide receivers in the NFL. He's not a, the biggest at wide receiver, although he is good sized, but he plays me. Seven. At the Raider 46, they need to go to the Raider 39 for a first down. Bledsoe drops back. Underneath, caught by Eric Moles. Moles down to the 10. You're going to see him taking the safeties deep right here. And there comes Eric Moulds across the middle, what we used to call a dagger route. And let, here they are, lined up in tandem. And you see Evans, the speedster, going down the middle, taking the safety out of the zone. Here's Bledsoe rolling out, looking. Ball is... I think he got touchdown. it. Touchdown, Moulds! Wow. And just like that, three-point game and that went right through the hands of a Raiders defender watch the catch by Eric Moulds though right here at the bottom of your screen Ray Buchanan tipped Eric Moulds one hand and you see him drag that back foot before he falls out of bounds I guess I'd imagine that this would be replayed here in the last couple minutes to overturn that call you see this ball get tipped, and Moulds having the presence of mind to grab it, bring it in with both. Boy, it looked like he dragged that, that right foot before he hit out of bounds. Officiating crew right on top of the play. Brings it in with one hand, brings it back to the other. There he's got it. Knee down. Oh, there you go. So if that knee was down and he has possession, that's touchdown. And we all know that old saying, one knee equals two feet. And there's that knee, and he drags the back right foot. Looked like he had control to the game. McGay, he is in the lineup along with Henry. They've got both backs. Looking pass all the way. Bledsoe open. Man, it's Eric Moulds. First down at the 13. Well, when you have a big quarterback who can stand back there when there's pressure on him, and a wide receiver who plays tall, is tall, and tough. To the home fans as he sets up the Bills. First down at the 41 of New England. Bledsoe going for it all right here. Molds in the end zone. Touchdown. No, hold on. Yes, touchdown. Well, the look at this. 41 yards. What a throw by Drew Bledsoe. When he let it go, I said, there is no way. He did not look open, but you've got to my eyes. There's a couple things. He does catch it. He makes a football move. He holds, and here's Eugene Wilson. Drew Bledsoe's watching Eugene Wilson. He wants to go deep. So you're the quarterback, and you let's watch. Stop it. Even really before that, when he saw Eugene Wilson had not turned and started running, Drew Bledsoe's just trusting the fact through practice and knowledge. Please. He's just the third player to catch a ball today for the Bills. Let's go look and pass all the way. There's Molds. Molds at the 34-yard line of New England. You're going to see Eric Molds over the middle making a lot of catches this year from Drew Bledsoe. That really fooled the defense by the Patriots. And look at the space between the linebackers and the safety. Uh, well, it's very close. The Buffalo with third down and 16. And they're coming in on Bledsoe in a hurry again, but it gets it away to the Moulds. Moulds racing. What a nice effort there by Eric Moulds near the first down. I think he has it. Receivers, Moulds, Reed, and Evans. They've also brought in Shaw. And Bledsoe, again, with the pass, which has caught Moulds here in front of Barrett. And he'll be close to a first a step. And that's why you hear the boos. They thought the, they thought the spot wasn't good. From a Jets perspective, that is. Well, Moles knows exactly type plays they've had. I think he's played pretty doggone good this year. Second down and 11. Jennings with the block, and that frees him up to throw to Moles, and it's a gain to the 49 yard. And, and you don't need more evidence than to see these kind of passes, and some of the ones you've, you've seen Drew Bledsoe in this offense perform earlier. 
to know that if you can get Drew Bledsoe to stand in the pocket, step into his throws, and let it rip, he can do a job by Mike Malarkey getting him back on his staff and getting that brain back involved. 36-yard line, first and five, and Bledsoe winding and throwing. Caught, molds near midfield. Lone running back. Play fake. Gives Bledsoe time. Fires downfield. What a shot. He connects with his uh, best receiver, Eric Mings. The Buffalo Bills want to get going in their offense. Bledsoe has lots of time. You see Moles just goes up, turns around, and Bledsoe, with the wind at his back, guns it in. Now spread the field, open backfield, so Bledsoe has to get rid of it quickly. He stands in, makes a throw, and a beautiful catch. Eric Mould with an absolutely sensational play inside. I can't tell you how good this throw is. Watch how this ball comes in low. Mould finds it but the catch. through the cat coverage, and you've really got to zip that. I mean, that is a tough throw. Also gets time, triggers it out. The ball is bobbled by Mould. Now he's on the run, and look at him go inside the 20, inside the 10. And Eric Moulds, uh, perhaps the best player on the Bills team. Hey. Well, the reason that Eric Moulds is an elite receiver in the National Football League is because he's a very physical. You see there as he runs the crossing pattern, he picks off the defensive back, Reggie Howard. After first contact, they fake by Bledsoe. He makes a cap throw in connection to Eric Moulds, and he's not done when he's all the way out to the 44-yard line. One of the things that kept Willis McGahee out of the lineup was his inability to help out on pass protection there he chips on on taylor and gives bennett a chance to get it off and then lee evans comes back and makes a block for eric molds on the run but willis mcgay the bills up 17 7 with an 87 yard kickoff return for a touchdown the fade molds does he have it control it yet touchdown buffalo see molds and just watch him run the fade to the corner and what drew bledsoe's gonna do is throw it right to the pylon oh. and look at molds go up and get that over Dwayne starks <sighs> and ran through holes and both of them got yard for the contact and breaking tackles where mcgee mcgee he separated himself from travis henry and that's why he's getting the run he's also gained his second 100 career game and that's molds molds had it and stepped out of bounds at the leg off. He's going to run it out, but watch how Starks falls down. See, Starks slips. Now he's going to try to tip, though. He steps out at about the three. 95. You know what got him that was that little lean inside on Starks. Marquis has a defensive back on a reverse, now an empty backfield for the first time. And it appeared that Abraham pulled offside again. Molds with a catch. Might be close to a first down, about two yards shy of the first down. On third down, Reggie Tung made the tackle. A pride and joy of Fairbanks. Alaska. Notice that even though Eric Molds is a wide receiver, being a big guy, he's being used in the middle of the field. Not a lot of sideline patterns. Of course, some of that is the wind, but Drew Bledsoe comfortable throwing over the middle. Here comes the blitz. Bledsoe lobs it high. Molds with a catch, and it's a legal catch. He was inbounds. Four man rush, plugs of the throw, dumps it off Molds. 40, 45. Not too much of the time. Delay, looked like that. But yeah, he wanted to toss the ball back to Bledsoe. Instead, he takes off and got an unbelievable block from Eric Molds on Teddy Broski. Holy cow. Out. This was going to be the pick, but watch what happened. Attacking, he already sees it, that Bledsoe's in trouble. So, yeah, he kept, keeps it. Look. I'll tell you, so far the Rams have not blitzed Bledsoe, but they've gotten some pressure on him anyway. Eric Moles on the end around, though. This is a little razzle-dazzle as Moles will pick up a first down, and they were looking for a flag on the sideline, and they got it. Another 15 on a personal foul. This is just another way to get the ball into the hands of Eric Moles who really is is a strong runner there there's the penalty right there but he's a strong on that play had perfect position two tight ends in on second down let's so that one caught Eric Moles right at the five yard line games by McGahee 
On first and ten, Bledsoe's looking over the middle. Makes a throw and a beautiful catch by Molds at the 39 yard. Bledsoe on first down, another drop. Good pickup of the blitz. Throwing a catch and down to the 31 yard line. This is crucial because if the Bills can beat man to man coverage, they are Eric Molds and Lee Evans working. The Seahawks are bringing eight guys and so they're down to their third runner. On second and seven, Bledsoe with a timing throw, and the ball is caught. A tip ball is caught by Molds for a first down. He's proven that he can. Your guy Christie wasn't bad. Here is a throw over the middle, and Eric Molds on the run. Eric Molds inside the 40. And Molds, who was uh, quietly. And as Molds, as you watch here, as he hits the crossing route, Bledsoe hits him. The Bills step up to the line and go no huddle here in the fourth quarter. Great. I want to see Morley Safer cover a kick just once. No, we're not going to see Bob Dylan cover one. Here's a throw and a catch, and there is Molds. We talked about Molds would emerge, and that's his first 0 and 9, but still holding to the three point lead. Here is Bledsoe. Look at the catch by Molds. Unbelievable play and a pass. And that's Madison right there, and you see him grab him. It's right at the line of scrimmage. But he has made some great throws today. There's another one. That's Molds. Only great. Is there anybody better? Eric Molds is phenomenal. Drag him into the end zone. Watch here as he runs the crossing route. He's fearless going in. You can't drag him down by the shirt tail. And then you're not going to knock the ball away as he goes in. This guy is a physical receiver for the Browns. That's all. Stands in. Lobs the ball to a wide open Eric Molds inside the 25. And a penalty marker comes in, could be a face mask at the end. All the way across the field here, and the defense will just forget about him. And you got linebackers trying to keep up with him. And it, it's so important to get a guy like Moles the ball done. He's so important to your just the fourth carry of the day for McGahee. And a second and nine for Buffalo. Bledsoe looking to throw. Bledsoe throws complete to Eric Moles. A three receiver formation for the Bills. They lead it 24 to 10. Bledsoe, the quick strike, asking Mold to create after the catch, and the clock continues to roll. Mold has the first down. Checking off, changing the play on a first down and 15. Rick drop, hard throw, and Eric Mold breaks it across the midfield. Lot. Your head stops, your body moves. 14 yard gain on the play, a hard throw to Moles as the Bledsoe, with that ability to throw. And Bledsoe, another tight spiral to Moles, and he's hit from behind and driven forward for 11 yards in a first. We are all by himself. Everybody else, all the other receivers in the tight end to the far side of the field, they do that to get him manned up and to make the defense declare they know the nuisance the Woods has struggled. Bledsoe again firing a tight ball into the wind, and he's right on target to Moles. If you look at the cushion, I mean, he's got eight yards or nine yards of cushion, and he backpedals out of there. Moles runs the speed cut out. Burns in the backfield with Bledsoe. Throw is caught by Moles. Has the first down. Down the line he goes. Tackled by Tyler. Zero success. Who do you go to? You know, they had, a, they had a guy here, Andre Reed, for a lot of years, put us some huge numbers. Dangerous return man and also defensive back. Third down and six at the 23. A loss of two on the last play. Here's Lossman over the middle and it's caught. Eric Moles with the first down and a flag on the. And Gus, watch JP Lossman going through his progression. Watch Eric Moles move back inside to the ball. Nice job of adjusting to where that ball is. Let's watch Moles' route. You see the ball. Watch him take that step inside. Get up high. Help your young. First down at 10 and 26. Lossman to the sideline, caught again. Eric Moulds in front of Philip Buchanan. And Philip Buchanan must be games in route to 1,128 yards rushing. And he didn't start the first four games of the year. That one inside, caught by Eric Moulds. Lossman to the sideline, that's caught. 
on a big third down. They attack the bubble. Bunch three to the right. Lossman rolls and completes it to Eric Moles. Moles out of bounds at the 35-yard line with his 600th career catch. You know, for Atlanta Falcons coming into the game, you know your star quarterback's nicked up. But he's able to pull through it. On the ground over the last five games when he plays at home. He loves playing at Ford Field. Second down and eight. Flag is thrown, and here's the pass caught by Moulds. He's down in goal at the Miami 2. And despite the disparity in the number of plays run, which has tilted severely to Buffalo, if Miami can stop him again down here by the goal line like they did last time Buffalo was down there, huge momentum swing. Sam Aiken is the slot receiver. Holcomb to the end zone, caught by Moulds for a Buffalo touchdown. Working against the rookie. This is just physical one-on-one. -on -one. Look at the body position. Moulds gets his body in between Daniels and the ball. Free by Kelly Holcomb taking advantage. That and was an excellent technique of first down where Buffalo needs. Miami's done a great job in this second half defensively. Josh Reed is the third Buffalo receiver. Caught by Moulds, slashing in front of Madison. It's in the cornerback. Use the body, turn your chest, take the ball. That, that's just quick time. I don't know if that can be defended. I don't care how good a cornerback Sam Madison or any bells, anybody else is. A big physical receiver like Moulds uses his box. Team. Double tight end set. Holcomb under some pressure. Connection made. Moulds zigzags in for the touchdown. But when you don't recover the fumble, you give him a second chance. Look at the throw here to Mose, and it's Ty Law again, who misses the tackle in the open field. Allow Dime package now for the Jets. John Abraham has come back in. Shotgun for Holcomb. On third down, Holcomb throwing under some duress. Complete to Mose, and stumbles his way for a first down. That's where Ty Law has to make this tackle. He doesn't wrap up. Try to block him to the ground. The strength... Kelly Holcomb making his second consecutive start. Second and 11. Short drop. And a quick throw to Moles. Flag comes down. Third down. Holcomb from the shotgun. Four-man rush. Throws underneath. Moles makes the catch and has the first down into New England's territory. Trying to do right now. Holcomb. Plenty of time, and there's the comeback to Mould. Then he dives forward, trying to go up as if I'm going deep. Now he starts, looks back, and then Moles comes back to the ball and picks up the first down. That's experience. And Dwayne Starks has been the marked man in that secondary. Does and has done. Kelly Holcomb goes to the shotgun. Moles. Now, all of a sudden, you're reaching the area where the New England Patriot defense has really struggled, the red zone. Teams have been down there nothing. Holcomb down the middle, molds nice. Holcomb. Molds! Touchdown! Another blown coverage in the second there. You've got... The New England Patriots, Steve's another one, number 23, who had the ball thrown over his head. Little quick play action. Look at the middle of that football field. He just hangs it up. There's Dwayne Starks, number 23. Not that it's his fault, but he's the guy that they're going over top of again. And this has happened way in the game, and Evans, who just caught the touchdown pass, is on the move. Lossman. Caught by Moulds, nine-yard line, tripped up. We want to close it out. Oh, it's a great day for you and your family. But again, to the sideline, Moulds with the grab. And Moulds picks up the first down, gets up. Receiver, Shaw Williams, number 20, in in the backfield, replacing McGahey. Blitz, Lawson completes it to Eric Moulds. He's got a first down up at the 38-yard line. The cushion Lucas is giving right here, giving Eric Moulds. The blitz was off, and then you're done. Third sack of the season for Carson, 25 for the Carolina defense. Boston with time, throws complete to Eric Mould. Brooks two men, dives forward. Kept that play alive. And he got outside of Al Wallace where Peppers would have been. Same formation. Boston stays in and throws that complete to Eric Mould. 
50th catch of the season for Eric Moore. And the pressure is on the Carolina defense. Right? Buffalo is tagged. 19 for the Bills. Lawson fakes the draw, being pressured, throws. He's got a man, Eric Moore, at the 12-yard line. The strong arm. He throws this falling back, and he throws this before Moulds breaks to the outside. Now the deep Manning is in. Austin operates out of the shotgun. Steps up. Being pressured, and he drops it off the mold. Eric Gold turns it into a nice gain up across the 45 and out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Second and seven for the Bills. And Holcomb will go to the air for the first time. Throwing for Moulds. Eric Moulds, first catch. As Susie said, fan favorite, and you hear the warm welcome back for Eric Moles, a gain of 27. And it was a beautiful route, Mike. I like to think Champ Bailey moving over, trying to show man-to-man, -man, but it's actually his own. Eric Moles is one of the very cute route runners in this league. Does it? Sean Williams in the backfield, Moles in motion. This is third and three for the four and nine Bills. John Lynch's pressure is picked up. Holcomb throws to Moles. Good after the catch to the 33-yard line. First down, Nick Ferguson's tackle comes after a gain of 15. And you see the eye contact that Moles was talking about there with Holcomb? That's what you need, Mike. You need a guy that you know in a situation like this, all-out blitz coming, no Eric Moles has man-to-man -man coverage, set it up, does a great job, yards after the catch, but it's just he and Kelly Holcomb being on the same page. No, it's not a hot because they had it picked up. It was able to just get the football into one of your playmakers' hands. Eric Moles, the former Bronco, snapping it to Holcomb. First down, play action, time, down the middle. There's Eric Moles again to the 32-yard line. Give him 27 and a Buffalo first down. Very nice route. Very nice time by the offensive line. Kelly Holcomb getting the football out of his hand. But Eric Moles, watch him use his speed to get up the field. Now watch him gear it down to stay in the hole. Don't run himself out of the hole, and a very nice throw by Kelly Holmes. Very nice, tight spiral in this weather, easy to catch. Put it in a place where the receiver can catch it. Yep. Kiwan Ratliff now in there for O'Neal. Flea flicker. Holcomb has protection, and the floater to Eric Moulds. A first down for the run to Willis McGahee. Get the linebackers to bite up, and then go behind the linebackers. Wanted to go deep, but the secondary... This is a second and six. Line of scrimmage is the 23. A little jump. With flag comes down. Holcomb out across the middle. Here's Mould. Eric Mould stays on his feet. And finally brought down in Nene. Now watch Mould coming across the formation. Now after he makes the catch, see one missed tackle. Now you're going to see a second missed tackle and then a third and a fourth. And finally, Kiwan Ratliff is able to... Holcomb straight back. Throwing complete to Mould. Lunging for the goal line. Guy that can go over the middle. He'll break in on the slant in front of Torrey James, but he'll take a hit from Kiwan Ratliff, and he knocks Ratliff back. Now, Cincinnati doesn't have the three seed locked up either. With New England looming. Holcomb throws. It's complete to Mould. Okay. And so if they can make a big play in the back end, with Kelly Holcomb just trying you so many times, you got to stand up and make a play. Shotgun on third down. Holcomb throwing. Curling it up is Moulds for a first down. That little extra play by Moulds was the difference. You see they go with the bunch package, three receivers to one side. Moulds just stops right in the middle of the zone. They spread them out. Now it's seven straight starts. For McGahee and a second and three now for Buffalo. Rush coming, Holcomb gets rid of it. Perfect floater to Eric Moles in the Jets territory and down to the 39 yard line of New York. That's a 21 yard hookup. How courageous of Kelly Holcomb to throw this ball into the teeth of the defense right over the middle, just lofting it over Mark Brown and in front of the safeties. You could tell he and Eric Moles have an excellent feel for one another. What a lot of shot with a guy like Kelly Hope. 4.03 to go. First tap. First and 10 for the Bills at the Jets 22. Here's Holcomb to throw. Holcomb over the middle. Touchdown! Eric Moulds holds it in. And the Bills close the gap.
and this is why they believe in Kelly Hope. <laughs> Eric Mose loves him. Now watch how he gets behind the linebacker. C-51, Vilma getting into the hole, doesn't quite get deep enough and is able to make the completion in front of Eric Holman. And so Vilma caught out of position. Now that's asking a lot of your middle linebacker to drop that deep. But the design of the defense calls for it in Vilma. Bills. Once again, out of the gun, delayed rush. Open. Unloads to Molds. Greening after the catch, and Molds stumbles down. They will mark him down at the 33-yard line as Mark Brown came on that rush on Holcomb. He got rid of it for 12 yards. And someone needs to tell Justin Miller that Eric Molds doesn't go down with a bump and a show the middle after 26 yards. And the fans that are here trying to get vocal on a third and four. Holcomb. He's got a first down to Eric Moles. Inside the 10-yard line, a first and goal for Buffalo. Right now, Buffalo is going with that no huddle because they like, I think, the personnel they're getting from this Jets defense. They expect the blitz, and they're going with the hot read. Quick slant over to Eric Moles, who gets underneath Ty Law. Quiet down some of the detractors. To talk about him not being able to stay on the field. Holton gets rid of it. And it's on time to Eric Moles. Out near midfield. Well, that time, Holcomb stood in the pocket to deliver this strike. Watch Eric Moles setting up Justin Miller. You're going to return a long kickoff. I know you got to be a little winded, says Eric Moles. So working on Miller coming over the middle and making that tough and difficult catch. Car bootlegs to the right side. He throws it, and it's caught. Moles at the 10, at the 5. Rock and roll. Touchdown, Houston. Eric Moulds, uh, three times a Pro Bowl player in his 10 years with the Buffalo Bills, now a Houston Texan, greeting some old friends today. The kickoff is next. This is Wisconsin, a rookie, Owen Daniels. Five touchdown catches. They go to a reverse to Eric Moulds on the first play. He gets plus yards out to the 28 or 9. He is the flyer. Our told us before the game, you can't overthrow him. He won't allow it. Here is a throw now to Eric Mould, the former Bill. Guy who caught uh, 675 passes in 10 seasons as a Bill. That was good for 13 yards. And another Texan first down. Yeah, the Texans have run the ball very well. It's just it's a little quick play action faked all the run. You can see London Fletcher, number 59. He stepped up because all the action was a quick run. Second down. And that brings up third and eight. Carr, three-step drop. Beautifully executed as Moles, and he almost breaks at the distance. Taken down inside the 20-yard line. And uh, the last guy there gets him down after a 17-yard gain. Well, that time, the Houston Texans showing their versatility. And, and as, as we look at Eric Moulds and what he's done in his career, 10 years with the Buffalo Bills, are obviously great numbers. Now with the Houston Texans, it's been a big addition this year to this ball club, but the Houston this year. Well, he certainly improved. Uh, as I mentioned, meeting the great expectations. He had the number one pick in the draft, and now they go to Eric Moulds, the former Bill, London Fletcher. Baker takes him down, but it's a 10-yard gain. And that's why Gary Kubiak feels good about these situations. He said, we've got to stay on schedule. You don't want to get an obvious long third-down conversion distances because it takes away the opportunity to make those short, quick passes like that one right there to Eric Moulds, feeling the soft spot in the zone defense, pulling it in, turning and falling forward, getting two or three more yards, and easily picking up the first down. Well, to this point, though. They are. A lot of offense in this game, and here is Carr. On third and 11, he makes a first down connection. He goes to Eric Moulds, the former Bill, and he's inside the 25-yard line, a 21-yard gain. And the uh, Texans, who ended a 12-game losing streak on the road last week, starting to look real good again, ready maybe to take the lead. Yeah, good, good, quick decision by David Carr, and Eric Moulds knows where the soft spot is. The timing was perfect. There's a 
There's a little, there's the bit. See that bicep? He's got some big old muscles, kind of like yours, huh, Don? That Something is like a two man. minute warning. Yeah. <laughs> two minutes. He still lift weights, but they were so heavy. To do as far as protecting the football, making plays that would go above and beyond what normally would be asked. Here's Carr, a fastball. He gets it to Eric Moulds. The three time Pro Bowler is a Bill during his 10 years there, a number one draft choice of the Bills out of Mississippi State. Marv Levy, now the general manager of the Bills, said he was the best kick returner he'd ever scouted the coming ball out of is college. Fumbled forward out of bounds. It will be returned to the spot of the fumble. Fourth down. And that's uh, Eric Moulds after, as, after he got was going down. You'll see he uh, he threw that ball forward, and that's, of course, not allowed in the NFL. And Gary Kubiak appears to be making a statement call here. To throw on third and long. The is complete to number 83. And again, Eric Moulds, he's been to a couple of